A tri-state couple helps crack a hit and run case. Police say Margaret Hensley hit and killed a man in Westwood. The key to finding her was a second crash just 30 minutes later. Look at this. Here's the first crash. The second crash just about less than, well, actually less than five miles away. Tom McKee, though, has how the couple's sharp eyes helped police find their suspect. Westwood Northern Boulevard is a very busy road with a posted speed limit of 40 miles an hour. That's how fast police say Margaret Hensley was traveling last night when her van struck and killed Mario Seibert. She fled the scene then, but was caught after another accident just miles away. It was 8 o'clock Thursday night when Janice and Dennis Ritter heard a crash in front of their home on Lawrence Road in Green Township. I came out and there was nobody around, but there was debris all over. My son's truck was wrecked. So we called the cops. Um, the neighbors across the street came and said they saw a white man take off. Then they saw on Not On Your Side surveillance video of the van that struck and killed Mario Seibert on Westwood Northern Boulevard in Westwood. Well, with the windshield being busted in this, we just like, oh my God, could it be the same thing? It was identical to the vehicle that police say Margaret Hensley was driving. My son had taken a picture on his phone and it was the same van and the license plate that was reported hitting this person and killing him. Green Township Police knew the van's owner lived in their territory. He told them Hensley was driving it, so the trail led to her house on Wooster Place in Westwood. I asked Lieutenant Bruce Hoffbauer of the Cincinnati Police Traffic Section whether drugs or alcohol were involved. There's no indication from us at the time of the crash on the boulevard, and we got no indication from the Green Township officers that there was any sign of impairment. But Hensley did make one statement to police that's under further investigation. She just said that she consumed alcohol after the crash in Green Township. So that would have been some three hours after the crash that happened in the city. Hensley is charged with just one felony right now, fleeing the scene of an accident. She'll be arraigned in Hamilton County Municipal Court on Saturday. Tom McKean, not on your side, Westwood.